Hello. Hi, it's Eleanor. Oh my, oh don't worry, okay, relax. I've got my coffee. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks. I'm gonna turn the uh, phone off in case I share messages May. Shall we see if she has? Uh, no, she hasn't, so probably due a message. Anyway, um, hello, how are you all doing? I'm doing okay, thank you very kindly. Um, I did actually film a vlog <laughs> that I didn't put up, uh, which was a, a, a go around the shop. Um, and um, it was fine, but it made me realise how much of a mess the shop had become. You know sometimes when you're just like in it all day? I, that, my shop is always messy. <laughs> There was, I can't remember which one it was, but there was a local-ish wool shop who's since closed down and the way that she used to bitch about me <laughs> to the customers was how much of a mess my shop was. But you know when my shop is tidy is when I'm not busy. So um, there's your, there's your, uh, <laughs> there's your, I don't know what the word is, judgment, that like tidy, spend some money. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> But it, but it was like more than untidy, oh, for God's sake, I, it's, it was more than untidy, it was like, um, just like messy, like it just needed a spruce up. So uh, we've been doing that over the past couple of weeks, um, I've moved a bit of furniture around as much as we can, obviously we've got quite a lot that's um, kind of stuck where it where it is, but we've got other bits that we can move around. Got rid of the um, Sirdar, <coughs> oh sorry, I was sat in a room with a smoker <laughs> uh, the other day and um, gosh, like I, I hadn't realised how how much it could, anyway, whew. Um, so uh, listen, I got rid of the Sirdar happy cotton thing again. Um, we are, I'm saying it, I'm saying it out loud on the vlog. Have I said it ever before? Out loud on the vlog to many people. We're getting rid of Sirdar. I do not like their attitude towards independent shops. I've had the argument with the um, office. Mm. I've had the argument with the rep. Um, I've uh, had the argument with everybody I can have the argument with and obviously they just don't give a shit. They just want to take our customers. They want to undercut us um, and I am not okay with the way that they're running their business and I'm more than happy to discuss that with anybody that wants to discuss it. Um, the last time I moaned about, um, I moaned about the ref and I can't remember what I said. It wasn't that much of a moan, it was literally I told the truth about the stuff that he'd done. Anyway, somebody, probably a competitor, <laughs> Uh, sent him the video and he rang me really trying to have an argument but I'm quite good at arguments if you would believe. Anyway, I'm more than happy to speak to anybody who needs to be spoken to about what Sir are up to. I do not think it's okay. Um, so we're getting rid of them. And it is a shame because they do have some good products. I also think they have quite a lot of overpriced products, which is part of the reason why we've never really gone all in on them. And I do think that the Happy Cotton was a good product of theirs. And it's that the big balls and jewels spun really for me, although there's a lot of people with a soft spot for number one um, that um, that really kept me around with uh, with with Sirdar. But um, we are moving on to bigger and better things. Um, the European brands are a bit more difficult. Uh, um, prices have increased uh, costs to me have increased by about a third we now have to pay um taxes and we have to pay shipping and there's usually a percentage on top of that and so the prices increased last time by about a third um and that's not viable for me um and we knew that when everybody was voting leave we knew uh, costs were going to increase and um Everybody was telling us how, how Britain was gonna step up and, and become what, like the manufacturing nation that it kind of, maybe at one point possibly was, but also we were exploiting quite a lot of the world, weren't we? And we can't do that anymore, can we? Um, and, um, uh, and that's really interesting because when you compare that to um, British companies like uh, Bar and Mew, who went out of business because of the pandemic and the lack of support and da 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 da, 
Um, it's interesting that everybody that voted Brexit seems to think that we're going to kind of stand up and, and be able to um, <clears throat> take over what we've lost from Europe. Anyway, there's an industry show coming up. I actually went to it last week, which was a week early. <laughs> I had to drive all the way to Birmingham in a storm. It wasn't a great time to go, but I thought, well, I've better share my face and I want to, I'm desperate to find some new suppliers. I want, don't get me wrong, I love King Cole, but um, I want something new and I want something fresh and I want a, I want a bit of pizzazz, do you know what I mean? And um, so I thought I better go, so I went, but it was a week early. Anyway, so I think I'm going this week. I'm really pissed off with myself. Mm. And there are obvious problems, uh, just to, to date this. We are three days into um, Russia's war uh, on the Ukraine, um, on Ukraine, and uh, I, I mean, it, I, I don't, I can't, I don't even know what to say. Like there's a, especially, since um, the sort of reckoning with uh, racism in the knitting or craft community um, and everything that has resulted from that which I think has been a lot of good progress and a lot of bad progress and um, uh, uh, sort of to balance balance that out I think there's, there's there is this um, expectation that everybody will speak to everything and honestly I don't know I don't know anything about um, what is going on in this war. I know um, I know I'm not okay with it. I know I've I've sent money and um, uh, and I'm doing the research that I can do within the confines of my mental health. Um, however, I'm not going to be making some big proclamation. There are plenty of places to go and get your news from. Um, what it does mean. Um, is uh, the cost of fuel will go up and do I spend a quarter of a tank of fuel going to Birmingham and back? Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know, considering I did it last week. I don't know, but the world looked very different last week. Jeez. Oh gosh, I mean like, look at this. Look at us living through all of this history. Mm -mm. Okay, so what I actually thought was I was going to come in here and do a nice little boop, 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 boop vlog about um, some of the bits that I've been getting up to just to kind of keep you up to date, catch you up with what's going on. Um, I will, uh, here I am talking about the shop. I am a shop owner. The shop is Knit Nottingham. You may or may not know that. We are on 9 Trinity Walk. Um, and um, I thought I'd just do a little update about the... Um, corona and covid precautions that we've got in place and none of them have changed because i don't consider that the pandemic is over uh me and boris i mean are we absolutely we agree on many many things me and boris we're like mm. oh <laughs> no i mean like i can't i can't even describe anyway whatever i don't need to explain that to you that was a joke and um <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even a funny one. What am I talking? Oh my God, shut up, Eleanor. Right, okay, come on, let's go, let's go. So, I don't believe that COVID is over. Um, I do believe that things will get better over the summer. And I do also believe that with all the um, the vaccines and, and, and the good stuff that the uh, scientists in the NHS are, are doing, um, I do believe that next winter will not be as bad as this winter. So at some point, our measures will release a little bit. Um, but until then, until I feel um, confident, and I think I've got my eye on the end of March for this, but we'll see how things go. Um, we are sticking with face masks in the shop, sticking with trying to keep distance where possible, um, sticking with a, a lower limit of people in the shop. Currently that's at eight, it was six. Um, and it's now at eight, so we have released a little bit. And also every single person that comes into the shop has to do their hands with our stuff or with their own stuff. I don't mind, um, uh, but uh, it needs to be done and we need to see it. That's that's the key. Um, uh, as, as the measures have been released and time has gone on, more and more people have argued and like, honestly, my brain with all the stuff that goes on in my brain is quite like a um, argumentative place, like things kind of whir around and blah, 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 like it's kind of pretty horrendous in here sometimes. Um, and adding more conflict to that is not a decision I take lightly. Uh, <laughs> but it feels 
feels like the right thing to do. Um, I was having a look at my figures. My accountant is um, retiring, bless her. And um, so I was finding some figures for, uh, for my new accountant. And we have served um, thousands of customers over uh, COVID. Um, uh, just, that's just on the new till, so like more on the, the old till. We've literally had thousands of people pass through the shop. And I haven't had COVID and neither has Casper. Katie did have COVID, but she got it from her housemate. Um, and so I consider that the, the, the restrictions that we have put in place and being quite vigilant on have uh, been the right ones. Um, and I don't see a reason to change them just yet, but I am assessing it and I will uh, make those decisions and let you know. Um, mm. Something else that has occurred actually, um, uh, recently we've been having some pushback on it, is we don't take returns. We haven't for many years. We've never taken returns on patterns. Um, and it's a really obvious reason, like anybody could literally, well, I mean, it used to be that you could take a pattern, take it to the library and photocopy the pattern and then like bring it back to me. But now you don't even have to do that. You could literally take a pattern, take a photo of a pattern and then return it back to me. Like it could be 30 seconds. And <laughs> so like patterns are really obvious. Needles <coughs> are also really obvious. Like you can just, I wouldn't know if that needle had been used. I'd have no idea if that needle had been used. Um, and the packets for the most part are not, um, sealed so you could quite happily take it out use it put it back um and um uh and i don't suppose it's really in like normal times that's not like the biggest problem although it's still not a new product is it if it's been used but i mean i don't know about you but i'm like i use these to scratch my back i'm like they're in my hair some people use them to put up their hair god knows what else people get up to with knitting needles i don't know i don't want to know i don't want it to be my business so there's a ban on that <laughs> there's a ban on bringing them back um and um so and that it just is what it is that's needles and notions and then in terms of wool, like, it's just a random ball of price wise, I guess. Um, and um, if you bought this from my shop and just needed a meter, there would be nothing that I, I would not know if you chopped off a meter of that yarn and then put the thing back on and then given it to me. Or even more than a meter, if you stick your fingers up a ball's hole, <laughs> Eleanor right okay if you stick your finger up this hole you could chop that off put the end in and I honestly would not know I just would not know and we used to get around it by weighing it in um <coughs> but um it's not an exact science some of the balls come to us as like 110 grams or 105 grams or whatever um and so I need to be selling that as 110 or 105 do you know what I mean um, so that's the sort of first issue uh, with balls. <laughs> and then the second issue with balls is that um, I don't know where they've been. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even really talking about you rubbing them on your ass, although like I'm all for, like you do, absolutely you do you because the world is wide and lots of people like lots of different things. If you want to rub a ball of wool on your ass, go, um, have at it, just don't bring it back to me. <laughs> More that, I don't know, <coughs> oh god this has really done a number on me. I'm gonna have to speak to him. Um, anyway, uh, no, I don't want to speak. Anyway, whatever. Shut up, Eleanor. So, come on. Where am I? What do you do with your balls? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Um, it's possible, for example, that your balls have been near a cat, and <laughs> I love cats. <laughs> Stop it, Eleanor. What's going on? Listen. It is possible that your balls have been near a cat or a dog or a rabbit and um i don't 
want them to put that back and then have cat hair, dog hair, rabbit hair. It's possible they've been near smoke. It's possible they've been near food. Do you know, I don't know what has happened to your balls once they've left my shop um so i don't want them back you keep them to yourself um now so uh, nowadays i have talked about this on the blog before but nowadays and it's not even nowadays it's the last probably i don't know 30 no gosh it would have been probably i don't know i really don't know because i wasn't there but i would have said probably maybe 50 years or so consumers have really got used to being able to just bring stuff back send stuff back especially now with e-commerce um send stuff back and just have no just oh i don't want it anymore i chose the wrong thing i bought 10 different sizes um and just being able to send it back but the reality is that that stuff can't really especially in this shop be sold as firsts anymore and so if i have to sell it as seconds then i'm losing profit and i'm doing i'm losing profit because you have changed your mind and that i don't want to take that responsibility on um and when i talk about profit i'm not talking about oh god i don't know the terms i'm not necessarily talking about the literal profit that i am going to take and buy a house in greece and sod the lot of you i'm actually talking about the profit that pays katie's wages casper's wages my tax um the electricity bill the water bill the rent the rate do you, do you know what i mean i'm actually talking about the profit that, <laughs> that i use to buy the stuff that is not the stock and to buy facials and things for me i've really i've got into like spas and facials because i am absolutely worth this now um not very often but like as much as i can mm. right stop it where have we got to yeah so we've all got used to taking stuff just whacking stuff back like it's just no no problem but a lot of the stuff e-commerce wise doesn't go back on the um on the e-commerce shelves it gets wasted it gets chucked away and i think we all need to be having to think about the things that we do consume and the way that we consume and we need to be a bit more mindful about it so if that means buying four balls instead of five balls and we save a ball for you um in the shop so we know what's going on with it we save a ball for you and um then if you want it you take it a couple of weeks later that's fine um that's the safe service so the way that that runs is if you don't want to if you just want to buy a bit at a time or um you can't afford it this is another thing it's it's an affordability thing and an accessibility thing um or if you're not sure whether you're gonna like need it um um, then we keep this ball we put a name and a date on it you've got two weeks if in two weeks you haven't made, made up your mind as to whether you need it or you can't still can't afford it or whatever you just let us know we keep it for another two, two weeks and we keep adjusting the date and it's two weeks from the date two weeks from the date and you can do that literally forever as long as you keep telling us um and the reason that we put a date on it and we're quite specific about it is that um there's the, i mean there's probably in our saves bin at the minute there's probably a thousand pounds worth of stock um and so if or, if nobody added to that and nobody took away from it that's a thousand pounds that we can't sell worth of stock that we can't sell um on in a box so we have to protect ourselves um as well as protecting you and protecting the earth by not having stuff that's just going to be chucked into landfill not that we would chuck it into landfill but we'd have to sell it as seconds and then we wouldn't have the profit that we need to survive as a business um gosh now we're 18 minutes in and i'm just thinking maybe this is the end of this vlog and i do another vlog <laughs> where i talk about the stuff i actually wanted to talk about how often does this happen how ridiculous yeah, I think I'm going to do that, you know. I feel like 18, 19 minutes is plenty of time to be listening to me for one day. So, thanks for listening. Um, and I will see you anon. <laughs> Goodbye.